everybody, Miss Jolly here. I found a really nice place to snuggle up and read a book because today is World Book Day. So I hope you've come in your comfortable clothes and brought your favourite books to read. Now, one of my favourite books is this book, The Fish Who Could Wish, and it's written by a man called John Wish. So let's take a look, shall we? Starts with a lovely illustration. And I think the fish is having a think about what he might want to wish for. Right. In the deep blue sea, in the deep of the blue, swam a fish who could wish, and each wish would come true. Oh, the fun that he had, oh, the things he would do, just wishing away in the deep water blue. He wished for a castle. He wished for a car. He wished for a horse and a Spanish guitar. Once he wished he could go out and ski. It snowed for a week under the sea. Imagine that. And he wished he could fly. And to his delight, flew twice around the world in exactly one night. If sharks came a-hunting for a nice fishy treat, he'd quickly just wish he was too small to eat. There he is down there. You can't even see him. And to teach the sharks a lesson, do you know what he'd wish? That he was a shark and the shark was a fish. He'd wish himself square, all round as a biscuit, triangular, oval, name it, he wished it. He wished for a fine suit and handsome silk ties, but one thing he never wished was to be wise. One day, just for fun, that silly old fish wish the silliest wish the silliest wish he could wish i wonder what he wishes for that silly old fish wished he could be just like all the other fish in the sea but wishing was something other fish could not do so that was the, his very last wish that came true. Oh dear me. So that silly old fish wished that he was the same as everybody else. And what does that tell us? Hmm, that tells me that being different is a good thing. So if there's something that you're really good at or you're different to other people, you should be proud of it and enjoy the fact that you can do things that perhaps other people can't. Hope you have a lovely World Book Day and I'll see you soon. Bye.